Here at Salt Strong, we talk a lot about the 90-10 rule, and that's a principle that states that 90% of the fish that we're targeting are in 10% of the water that we're fishing. So they're not aimlessly swimming around randomly on a mud flat or a grass flat, and you can actually predict where they're going to be and focus your efforts on specific areas so that you can make the most out of your time out on the water. Now, this drone footage you're gonna be seeing today that's gonna demonstrate a lot of what I talk about with this principle is from a great day of red fishing that I had the other day, and if you guys wanna see that footage, uh, I did already put up the full video of the day of fishing uh, if you want to go check that out. But today I'm just going to be evaluating some footage that I took after I wrapped up the day of fishing to kind of demonstrate this principle in action uh, because the fish started really shallow. They were hanging right up on the shorelines on little points uh, and little pieces of grass, things like that, because there was a lot of bait really tied up on the shoreline. Uh, but as the day kind of progressed, they moved further out. And the biggest thing to note was that these fish weren't just in random spots. They were holding to specific pieces of structure, really ambush zones. And this is where we really can find the 90% of the fish that we're after is by figuring out where they're gonna position themselves to feed. Now, I took this drone footage later on in the day, so it's gonna be demonstrating probably the number one form of structure that you're gonna find out on an open flat. And if you're on a mud flat, you know, these depth changes, they are gonna look like potholes. Uh, but if you're in a grass flat, they're gonna be these big old white splotches that occur within the grass. Uh, again, they're potholes on both grass flats or mud flats, it's just gonna look a little bit differently depending on where you're fishing. As you guys have seen in some of the footage that I've taken on some other flats, those fish will hang in those potholes and kind of congregate in those areas. But targeting these potholes is a really effective strategy because these fish love to sit in them or around them and use those kind of depth changes and color changes to ambush bait. Now they can be sitting on the edge of that grass waiting for bait to come out of the pothole if it's already in there and they can ambush it again at a depth change or that color change where that bait is slightly disoriented coming out of that bright sandy bottom into the darker grass or if they're sitting in the pothole themselves, they've got the ability to pounce up from below Hello? and uh, ambush that bait that's coming into the pothole. There's just a lot of different ambush opportunities for them. That's why we see a lot of fish congregating around these potholes. Just to show you guys, actually knowing where the fish are going to be can help you catch fish a lot faster. In fact, as I was fishing during this day, I knew that I needed to set drifts on these lines of potholes uh, to really get onto these fish. And just to show you guys really quickly, here's exactly what my game plan was uh, as I was fishing this flat. So I'm out of the shallows, as you guys can see. I think a lot of these fish are moving off the bank. We've got a, a pretty good outgoing tide today. Sun's a little bit further up than it was first thing this morning when I was getting a ton of those blow ups. And I think these fish are just gonna prefer to be in some slightly deeper water. There's one. Little guy. Yeah, I think a lot of these fish are starting to move out of the shallows. As you guys can see, I'm not throwing a top water anymore. As it started to kind of warm up, sun's gotten a little bit higher. I think these fish are kind of going into these potholes further off the shoreline. The bait's moving out with this outgoing tide. You guys can see sun's higher, uh, but I think it's a little too high for top water. And uh, for this slightly deeper water, the reds might not be willing to go up and chase that plug down. So I'm gonna keep working through these potholes with this, this paddle tail and uh, see if I can't find some more fish. Ooh, big red right there just shot off. See where he was holding? Right there, not right on the shoreline. Just a little bit further off of it. There's one. Wonder if he knows he's hooked yet. Oh yeah, now he knows. There he is. Oh, he's got a buddy near him. Chunky, chunky, chunky red on that slam shady. Perfect fish. 
So again, using the 90-10 rule allows us to really focus our efforts instead of randomly just throwing casts places or pick some spots even just by looking at satellite maps and seeing exactly where these concentrations of potholes and things are and knowing when we get to a spot where we're gonna wanna focus our efforts. Again, if you're just going out and randomly picking zones to fish, you're not likely gonna have as much success. But that 90-10 rule, knowing where 90% of the fish are gonna be on a flat uh, in the 10% of those ambush zones, you know, you can look at a flat, see a bunch of open grass, but if you see that one pothole, that's that 10% zone that those fish are gonna be feeding in. If you're going along a shoreline and you see a random patch of grass, that could be that 10% zone. So it helps you focus on where you need to put your casts and your presentations because that's where those fish are gonna be actively feeding. You need to find those fish that are in active feeding mode. You might see some cruising over the grass that are going to a pothole and they're gonna be a little bit harder to catch because you know they're not actually ready to feed yet. They're not in a zone that they're expecting to be hunting food. So finding that 10% is really key to getting on to a lot of fish. And if you want to see more awesome fishing tips like this, definitely check us out at saltstrong.com. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee we're going to help you catch more fish while saving time and money on your tackle. We do this by providing you with premium education, a private insider community with thousands of reports published daily, and discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle in the industry right now. So we're looking forward to seeing you join us in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon, and thanks again for watching.